resident president uh, Biden has announced uh, that he's going to ban Russian oil. I saw that today. Get ready for higher gas prices. Yeah. Um, it's already started. <laughs> and um, and McDonald's, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Unilever, which makes Dove soap, amongst other things. They have all joined the ban in Russia. McDonald's is closing their stores. Wow. Starbucks is closing their stores in Russia. Pepsi is refusing to sell soft drinks wow. in Russia. Coca-Cola is refusing to sell soft drinks in Russia. Unilever is refusing to sell soap wow. in Russia. By the way, Russia accounts for almost 9% of McDonald's revenue internationally. Wow. Wow. So for McDonald's to pull out of Russia and lose almost 10% of Jeez. their total revenue, that's a big deal. That's a big deal, yeah. But Russians, they don't see, unless they have VPNs and they're watching U.S. or Western European news, they only see the sanitized news that the Russian media is presenting to mm. them that this is not a war. This is a humanitarian uh, incursion to save Russian speaking um, people who live in the Ukraine from the Nazi government of Ukraine that's democratically elected and the guy who is the prime minister is Jewish, but he's a Nazi. And right. um, so, do you think the people of Russia are actually starting to I think come some, like I think, to turns and like? I think not. some do, and I think some believe that Russia is doing the right thing. Wow! Um, but eventually, they're going to say, "Hey, why is the world?" That's what I'm saying. Like with everybody pulling us. out, you know, from they, Russia. you know, you know, if if almost ten percent of McDonald's revenue comes from Russia. A lot of people must be eating in McDonald's in Russia. Yeah. And all of a sudden they go to their favorite restaurant. And it's closed. And it's closed. They say, why? And all of a sudden they can't get money out of their bank. And the ruble is so expensive. Why? Mm. I'm looking forward to seeing who else is going to start pulling out. Yeah. You know, we talked about it yesterday. You know, what you can't, you can, you, you can't you can't negotiate with cancel culture mm, right and this and putin in all of his calculations never considered cancel culture right he should have spoken <laughs> to kevin spacey yeah before <laughs> before he before he uh invaded yeah. the ukraine right absolutely Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.